Alright, piston, rotator, clamp, look at it, it doesn't matter. Clamp. If you go to gadgets and then gizmos, you're gonna see it. One of those. But don't spawn in the enemy. Uh, who's that? Oh, I'll invite you back. No, just spawn in one. Sorry, just spawn like a piston or a rotator or something. Okay. Okay. That one should be good. Okay, so if you look at the uh, the top of your uh, whatever you have, you're gonna see that there's some kind of uh, I guess tannish tip, right? So what that is is if you wire an object to that, wherever the piston moves. Oh shoot. Wherever the piston moves, that object is going to move with it, right? So you see that? That could be pretty useful, you know? And then, oh, shoot. And if you want an instance, say for example, you want to make, uh, say, a gun, right? So, everyone spawn in. I keep looking. I'm going to demonstrate. I'm just going to demonstrate. Use a weapon as an example. So I have like a pistol, and I wire the body of the of my gizmo to this pistol. Pick up the pistol, I can shoot it, right? And if I wire something to the tip of this piston, since this pistol moves the piston, and the piston will move the object, that's how you can, you know, kind of use gizmos to move things around like that. And for this lesson today, I'm going to be making a door open using a rotator, right? So everyone, uh, open palette, go to gadgets, and then spawn a rotator. Oh no. Me making a door. So, uh, once you don't, once you get that, Go me making a door. Me making a door. How? Make a gadget door. Me gonna make a door. We using a. And then next to the state machine, there's a state. Spawning state. Two states. Right. Where's the state machine located? Sure. State machine. Ah, uh, you need a state machine. You also need a state machine, Kakashi. Yep. You need two states. So next to the state machine, you see states. Spawn in two of them. Ah, uh, sorry, you can't invite any people. Just. Okay, so, I see uh, some people's uh, rotators are a little sensitive to some of their objects. Uh, I'm going to turn up the rules. Is, uh, does everyone know what the uh, grid system is? No. No. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I need to be no. in game chat. I'll be right back okay. real quick. No. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so I'm just going to explain it really quickly, right? So if you look at your, uh, if you look at your maker pen, right? Ah, uh, shoot, I keep lagging. At the top, you see something that says snapping. It's right next to the open palette. Right? So it says off surface and grid. So if you turn, swipe that little slider all the way to grid, and then you open your palette, go to the settings tab, and you can see position snap and rotation snap. So what that is, it, uh, it's basically the settings for the grid. So if you were to turn your position snap to 100, you would see how you could move your object and it would move like a... So you turn it to 100. Stop turning gizmos on and off. If you move it to 100 and you try to move an object, see how it would move on a specific grid snap. Alright, rotation snap as well. So you can just use grid to make your objects more straight and you know, still.
Not organized. So, right. Everyone, just make a door. For now, it doesn't have to be too detailed. I'm just gonna be using like a, a rectangle, I guess. And also, oh, everyone in here can fly. So if you have to like go to the ground and stuff, you can self scale, but just don't self scale, you know, too big. Too big. No, oh, no, we're not wiring up. We're just, uh, all you have to do is make, like, a door. You can just have, like, an, some object to rotate. It doesn't have to be too, uh, detailed. Nah, just like a door. Like, uh, you see my door? It's just, like, uh, you know, like a rectangle. Nothing too detailed. It just, like, I don't know, you could just, like, set from the bottom, go up. I really like it. Okay, I'm gonna wait a bit since some people are putting some details. Hello there. Okay, I think everyone's already done that. Huh? Oh, okay. So. Talks what? I'm confused on how's okay. what. I just make just a this rectangle out. and just right. towards the door. They told me that I don't need to make a detail. Oh, I have to. So, uh, so there's two ways you can do this, right? Making your door, right? You can have it open with a trigger volume, which if you enter the trigger volume, the door open. Or you can have it with a button, so when you press a button, the door will open, right? I'm gonna go over the way uh, to do it with the trigger volume first. If you want to use it with the trigger volume, you can go to gadgets, other gadgets, second page, and we see trigger volume at the bottom. We see trigger volume. If you want to use a button, then you can there's a button, the steps are just like the same, but it might be a little bit confusing. If you want to use a button, I'm going to go after that, over the after I go over the trigger zone. Okay, so. Let's see, so everyone, click the configure button the on your microphone. And then configure your rotator, right? So you should see a little box that says move to target. So if you turn that on, your rotator should now have an extra blue pin. Anyone confused? Let's go around. So if you check the move to target box when you configure your rotator. Now just configure the, the black part. 